Well, it was when I, I first realised that I was attracted to guys. I mean, I still was with women. I mean, I, I, I've been with both my whole life. That's true. Um, but some relationships work better than others. You do realise that as you're exploring your sexuality. But the first time I really was attracted to a guy was when I was at NIDA. Everyone then used to go to ARC. And I got bought a lot of free drinks there because I was only 18 and I just come from the Australian ballet school and guys would be like cracking on. And that's when I first met a guy that I liked. And I told everyone, I, was, I went to NIDA and I said, I'm, I am in love with this guy. And, you know, and I told everyone and I said, I'm gay. You know, I, I'm, I'm completely, I'm so happy. Wanted to be. I because remember seeing the boy from Oz when I was little at the festival theatre and thinking, <laughs> being gay looks so much better. But I didn't feel attracted to men until later. And when I did, I was really happy about it. And I went to NIDA and I told everyone and I was very open and I was very excited. And that's when a couple of teachers took me into an office who were both gay themselves and said, you can't tell anyone that you're gay because you will never work. I got criticized like in private messages from people within the community saying, you should be ashamed of yourself. The fact that you are not out, you should like, how do you sleep at night? You don't know who I'm sleeping with. Sometimes it was with a guy, sometimes it was with a girl. Like that's just, who I was, but they, and there's a lot of guys out there and a lot of girls out there that say that they've had sex with me that haven't actually. And I'm not saying that I didn't wish that I had, uh, cause I didn't, I wasn't getting much at all. But what else might be possible now in this reboot of Raft is that maybe it wasn't possible before. The world has changed dramatically. And I think you can expect to see all of that in the show. There's so many more things on the agenda now that were not back then. And I think that the stories will be, that the scripts are reflective of all of the global issues that, that we face today, for sure. And we were very naughty boys. Um, he was, you know, just my best friend in real life and on the show, Carbo. Um, there was a kitchen scene that had everyone, including Michael Caton, like granddad, um, and there was a scene where George and I had to just walk into the kitchen um, and I just walk in, go straight to the fridge, get something out and go and sit down at the table and we just did it naked. <laughs> these, these heels I've had since I was at NIDA and I broke a heel the day, I broke the heel the day that Hedwig fell over, which I thought was a bit of a sign, but look, they were sort of coming to bits anyway. But while I was, I bought these instead to replace it. So wow. I will still, I will still be my fabulous self in my private time. You are playing a guy who's got two girls pregnant in the next oh, yeah. five bedrooms. Oh yes, he's very naughty. Yeah. And he does really stupid things, like gets two girls pregnant at once, his wife and his work colleague. Like he's just, he's, and he always says the wrong thing. And he's just, um, he's just, I just wanted to play him because I wanted to play something different because that's what actors want to do. We want to play different. Kind, funny, single, in love with me. I love them. They see and hear me. I'm ready now, thank you. I wrote that and I put that in my shoe. I saw Kurt in the pool room and I just saw this beautiful smile and he just looked at me like he was happy to see me. I'm, there's so many reasons why I proposed to Kurt, but the main thing is he's a very, very kind heart and when I look at him and he looks at me, I know that there's only kindness and, and wanting that person to be happy. And that is, that is something that is very rare.